Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. And I'm coming to you from the future to talk to you about something that's happened in the past. So I've been doing a bit of filming um, around some adventures I've been having recently. And so I'm just slicing this bit in at the beginning um, to tell you that I'm here to um, share with you my, um, I was going to call it, you know, we have Vlogmas, I think I was going to call it Holly vlog or something like that, but that might be a bit too complicated. But basically, I'm sharing with you adventures of um, another holiday that I've had recently. Um, so I am going to, um, to France with my daughter very soon, um, but this is a lovely weekend away that I had recently. So I thought I'd take you along with me on the adventure. Um, so I'll see you on the other side. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? So. I thought I'd do another one week me made. Um, I've got whippets walking around, you can hear their feet, I'm sure. Um, and so this week, I thought I'd take you on a journey with me this week. Um, I've only got a few days, oh, a few days in at work because I'm actually on holiday um, from Thursday, which is very nice. So today is Monday. Um, I'll tell you what, it's like autumn has turned up here in Blighty, uh, which is a bit of a bother. So we've got all that amazing sunshine in June. Um, and now that we are, it's the 31st of July, I want to say today. So we're just on the precipice of August, it's meant to be our summer. Absolutely not, it is wet and drizzly out there. And so today I've had to dig out, literally, something a bit more, well not wintry exactly, but um, not so summery, which is a bit of a bother. So this is Ma Première Blues um, by Jolie Lab. Um, I made this earlier this year. Um, I do really like this large scoop neck um, on here, and this is made out of a um, fabric godmother um, fabric. It's got these really cute sleeves um, here. Um, I, I haven't actually worn this a lot, actually. I'm not quite sure why, if I'm honest. Maybe it got too hot too quickly, um, because it's, this fabric is quite a thick fabric. Um, and also the sleeves, the sleeves bother me a little bit. Um, but I'm going to wear I'm off to work today, and then I've just got it on with um, a three-quarter length. These are um, ready-to-wear ready uh, trousers, which is pretty unusual for me. And I think that's probably why I don't wear this blouse, because I don't have, um, I don't have many things that this, uh, that this top goes with. Um, that's just a personal preference for me. Jeans, obviously, but I don't wear jeans very much anymore, um, so I think that's probably my problem. I made this top and then I don't wear jeans. Never mind. But I thought I'd just share that with you. So I'm off to work today. I'm going to lovely Bexhill today. Um, we are um, we changed our systems over on Thursday. So um, we did have a go live day on Friday, but today I've got all clinicians in, so anything could happen. But I will share with you across the day, um, sorry, across the, the week and at different points across the day what I get up to. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you a bit later. Take care, everybody. Do you know what? This is almost a first for me. I never get changed. Once I'm dressed, I'm dressed. But I've decided no, oh, that just that blouse just isn't for me today. Um, my what I wear is really important to me about how it makes me feel. And there's just something about those sleeves. It's just too much faff. So I've changed. Um, kept the same trousers on. Um, but I've popped on a, um, a, a, I haven't worn this yet actually, this is the Donny um, Donny shirt by uh, Friday Pattern Company, made out of this lovely linen, it's quite a thick weight linen viscose from te Textile Legends I think it's called, um, which is a recent, a recent find for me here in England. Um, so that's what I'm wearing instead, I instant feel, in instantly feels better. So. Let's start my day again, shall we? <laughs> See you later. So that's Monday done. In a flash, gone. Um, so I thought I'd just jump on and say hi um, as me videoing myself across the week. Um, so need to form, film some content, don't I? So um, I've got a lower stress here, which I've decided I'm going to add a a V of fabric to the low cut um, and this is um, some jersey that I'm thinking of making the Stasia dress which I think is so liberated so liberated Stasia dress which is a really nice a long long jersey dress 
Um, but I have cut out some things. Um, she says, leaning, can't get hold of anything. So um, thank you for your, all your feedback recently on this amazing fabric. Um, <laughs> it's my husband. I said to him, I'm filming. And of course, he's talking away to me now in the background. But anyway, um, so thank you for your lovely feedback on this amazing fabric that I bought in London on Goldhawk Road with the amazing Angela from Devon Thread Tales. Hello, Angela. Um, I decided, so the options were lowest dress or uh, the SD, um, and I've actually decided to make the New York dress by Seasons of East, which was a recent feature in the Little Miss So and So subscription box. So I've got a copy of that pattern, and so that is what I've cut out with that. So it's actually not dissimilar to the lowest dress, which is why I didn't choose it in the subscription in the first place, because it's a beautiful V-neck with nice big sleeves, as is the um, the lowest dress. I'm sorry if you can hear my husband banging and crashing. What can you do when a husband comes back from Tesco's with the shopping? <laughs> He loves shopping. I'll leave him to it. So um, I'm not in me made um, tonight. This is um, I want to make some of these. Actually, I was just thinking to myself, I want to make some leisures. It's really the only thing that's left in my wardrobe that is not me made. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, just like a you know sloppy Joe top and some matching trousers. Um, so I could easily make that out of um, something I've got or just copy this would be equally easy. So um, yeah, so tonight I'm going to probably do some sewing. I actually managed to, I did actually manage to cut out an SD top and some SD shorts in the remainder of that fabric. So the New York dress says it takes three meters. I had three meters, um, but still had enough to cut out um, the SD top and shorts. So, but pattern Tetris, no grain lines on the SD. SD shorts, no grain lines included, definitely sort of just a mishmash of what was available. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping to get some sewing done tonight, but it is Monday night. It's been one of those days. Um, so we'll see how I get on and I will update you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. So I hope you don't mind in, not minding the mix of landscape portraits. It's the only way that you get to see an outfit in full. And even now I've set the camera too high so you can't see my full length. But I'm in a Sirocco jumpsuit today. I made this jumpsuit a really long time ago um, out of a scuba. It's actually not really stretched enough for the, for the Sirocco. Um, well, I say that, I'm in it um, and I wear it quite often. Um, it's funny, when I, when I initially made this, I obviously had brown hair um, and I felt that the colours weren't right for me. But uh, since I've had various shades of hair since then, uh, I really enjoy making it, uh, wearing it sorry, and the colours on me. Um, and it's one of those outfits that very sweetly I quite, I quite often get comments on, which is always very nice. So I'm off to work again today. The sun is shining, just about to take the dogologs out for a quick stroll. Um, and then I've got, yeah, quite an important morning this morning at work. So, um, do you know, I didn't do any sewing last night. Quite unusually for me, I just sat on the sofa, had my dinner, and then fell asleep. So that wasn't very social and not conducive to actually getting any sewing done. So what can you do? So let's hope I'm a bit more buoyant tonight um, and maybe get some sewing done. But I hope you're going to have a good day wherever you are and I look forward to catching up with you later. Good morning everybody. So here we are at Wednesday already. I can't believe it. So we're halfway through um, hump day as they say and I realise I've got a double jutes jumpsuit um, situation going on. So jumpsuit yesterday and jumpsuit again today. Um, and again this is one of my absolute favourites. This is the Sirocco jumpsuit by Deer and Doe um, as was yesterday's. Is that what I wore yesterday? Yeah I think so. Yeah. Oh my word, they're all blending into one. So I'm on a half day today, so I'm into the office the, um, first thing, or into the practice first thing this morning. For those of you who don't know, I am a dental practice manager, and I run two practices here in East Sussex. Um, and one is about 15 minutes from my house, and the other is about half an hour from my house. And I love my job. So I'm very, very lucky. But half day today, and then I'll be working from home this afternoon and prepping to go away for a few days, which is really nice. So I've just got a few bits and pieces. Um, doesn't look like the weather's gonna be kind to me uh, this weekend, which is a real shame, because we're going on a walking 
Uh, we're going to do some walking over the weekend, but you know, never mind. What keeps England green, isn't it? So, um, I yeah, got some sewing done, so I'll put some footage in of that somewhere in in the edit. That's a a, a sneezy whip it just walking past. Uh, but I hope you have a good day wherever you are, and I look forward to catching up with you later. Do some sewing. <laughs> So finally getting around to doing a bit of sewing, so I thought whilst I am re-threading my machine I'd jump on and see how you're all doing, how's your week going so far. So I'm just about to start sewing with this lovely red fabric here, I discovered I haven't got, I haven't actually got a bright red cotton which is it's a bit of a scandal so I'm going to have to go with a more of a burgundy. But that's okay. That's all right. So, what do you look? What do you guys like with thread? Does it have to be really specifically right, or will you go with it? Um, I'm also a, a lazy bobbin user, so if I've got something that's similar, <laughs> if I've got something similar in the bottom, then I'll go with it. So, for example, let me just grab here. So, there's my selection of bobbins. So as, as luck would have it, I do actually have a red one. If I didn't have the red one, I probably would have gone with black or something. Scandalous um, behaviour, probably. But I'm just about to start sewing the, um, I think it's called the Summer in New York dress, which I spoke about, I think I spoke about recently. It was part of the Little Miss so-and-so. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start sewing that and see how we get on. So I'm really loving how this is coming together. It is the most simple amount of pattern pieces. You've literally got two bodice pieces, a, ba a bodice back cut on the fold, and then a front skirt and a back skirt cut on the fold. Simple as. So, and the construction itself is super simple. So you've got obviously, um, this is the front, and um, you literally put the fronts together, and obviously sew a centre seam. And then in order to create the um, the front edge, you literally just fold it over, which is so simple. And I was just having a look and seeing um, how low the V is. Um, it was obviously post the recent Lois um, incidents. Um, so it's not looking too bad, but what I'm going to do is before I um, get too involved, and it would be sim super simple to do, because there's not a facing or anything, I'm going to obviously construct the rest of the dress. I'm also going to base the sides together because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need to put a zip in this. And the reason for that is because the back of this, um, uh, <laughs> uh, the back of this dress um, is a beautiful billowing shape, um, and it's the skirt that's fitted. So, and the side zips at the side, so the skirt can't be the reason why you can't get it on but anyway I'm going to test that theory out I didn't put a side zip in with the lowest so I think it's going to be the same with this and I'm sitting here chuckling to myself because I'm um, effectively you put the the front front bodice on top of the front skirt um, obviously right sides together and sew it across and then on the back it's the same and I'm thinking to myself I haven't put any darts or anything in the back piece um, whereas there's some darts, to, darts in the bottom of the, uh, in the back skirt, I guess I must have to gather the back piece in. I haven't read that part of the instructions here, so I'm just sitting here chuckling to myself because this is the back bodice piece. I'm thinking, why isn't it the same size as the skirt? And that's why. So I like the colour though, it's going to think it's going to look super pretty. So I haven't filmed much of the sewing, um, but uh, I'll, I'll just keep you posted. See you in a second. <laughs> Hello. So I need to capture this moment of woe. 
No, I just said I'm like sewing the fronts and the backs together and all that sort of stuff. And then I'm thinking to myself, oh, the back's bigger than the front, etc. I then have a realisation that the front piece, the front top piece is really a lot wider. Because you literally put front front top, front skirt together, right sides together, like, you know, so you get a whole front skirt, front of the dress. I'm thinking, but the top's massive in comparison to the skirt. Have I missed a step? Have I, like, not put the darts in or something? Let me show you. Okay. So I know I'm not a tracer, but I decided to trace this. Um, this, uh, this is like decorating polythene. It's all I had that was big enough to trace. So this is the pattern piece. Okay. This, this here, this side is the sleeve, and this is the waist. Here is my grain line, so I know which way up the pieces are meant to go. What have I done? I'm just trying to think if it's salvageable any anyway. I don't think it is. No, I have cut it so that this is the sleeve, and that was the waist. I think you can just about see that that is so similar to a sort of standard T-shirt shape piece of pattern. So no wonder my waist is really wide, because that's the waist at the bottom there that I've given myself. And this is the sleeve. This wouldn't be so bad and probably salvageable in some way, shape or form had I done the same mistake on the back. But I have not. So I've got a very wide sleeve on the back and a very narrow sleeve on the front. This makes this dress completely unusable. I could cry. I could absolutely cry at this stage. Now I have cut out an SD top and an SD pair of shorts out of this fabric. Had I not done that, had I left that in my stash as a remnant, right now I would be cutting out a new two front bodice pieces. I'm very cross with myself. Oh bother said poo really is all I've got to say about that and again sulk in the corner somewhere <laughs> I'll catch up with you in a bit bother <laughs> okay so now that I've had a word with myself and <laughs> sat myself in the corner um, and said stop being stupid obviously because it's non-directional what I had done and I know you lovely viewers have already been through this. They're like, no, 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 Cara. What you've done there, you have sewn the wrong seams of the front piece together. Correct. Okay. Crisis averted. So let this be a cautionary tale to you that are about to sew this. So what I had done is sewn the wrong seams together. So this and this hand is the sleeve. This in this hand is the front edge. Oh my word, can you see how easy that is to make as a mistake? <laughs> so, back to where I was, putting the front seams together, because that, that is what I had done before. Simple, simple mistake to make, but stupid nonetheless. I will resume shortly. <laughs> Okay, I hope you can hear me okay, because I haven't got a, um, a microphone connected, so just on my phone. But I have just basted this together after the crisis has been averted. And here you go. Oh my word, I've literally basted this together. Um, shoulder seams and all the way down the side. Um, I've got to say, I really like it. I've kept the side slits in. Now, I'm not a fan of a side slit, for those of you who've been watching my channel a long time. Um, and it's, wow. It's really cool. Um, I think I might make the sleeves a little bit shorter. In fact, if they've got a decent hem on them, they'll probably come to that anyway. Um, it's actually a pretty good fit. Could I could just do with probably? Oh, I can't be bothered. If I'm yeah, you could you could take in a little bit there. I haven't put a side seam in, so I've just basted this all the way down with the with the largest stitch. I also um, sewed this seam up by 
probably another two centimeters and for me that's really nice um you know, i've got a necklace on there you can just see that's quite a feminine nice v actually um it's not a it's not a shape that i'm used to seeing and i don't know if it's because i'm quite big chested but there is obviously quite a lot of volume there let me turn around and show you the back um yeah that's the you've got the volume there obviously um yeah so it's I often find with bat wings and things, get a lot, of, a lot of fabric here because it's obviously a grown on sleeve. So for me that doesn't create any definition here um, around my chesticles. Um, so I'm in danger of looking quite wide I think, but it does look, I feel like it looks better in person than it does on the screen because all this kind of blends in together. Um, but I'm really pleased with it. Uh, really pleased with it, particularly now that I've saved it in terms of rolls. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I was filming that because it's good for you to see that that's real life. That is just how sewing is. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to, I definitely don't need to put a side zip in it. It is quite tight as I get it across the chesticles. Um, so yes, obviously I'm a little challenged and like I could probably pick my bra, bra straps up a bit and that would help, wouldn't it? Um, so yes, if you have a, a big variance here, then you would you would need to put a side zip in because it is a little tight and there's some breathing in going on when I get it over this part. But the rest, as you can see, is is there. So yeah, I will finish it up and catch up with you in a bit. So here we are, people. The dress is made, and I have to say, I love it. It is really elegant. I hope you can hear me okay. I don't have the microphone on, so um, it is super elegant. Let me come in and show you some of the details. So I so say I raised up this V um, so that it's not quite so plunging, and I think that's a really fun, talk about my hair, it's raining and all sorts of things. I've also got no makeup on. But anyway, um, yeah, it's. I raised this up, otherwise it would have been a lowest situation. Um, I think I also just added so there's this beautiful pleats just here and I just went up into the um, the bodice just ever so slightly to take out that tiny bit of ex excess and what that's done now is just afforded me this really nice shape that helps to define the bust area a little bit especially with these big sleeves so you can see there where it tapers in really nicely at the waist and then gives me a bit of curve in the right places as opposed to it all being angular I still need to lift my boobles up so um, bear with on that um, what a simple dress to make uh, particularly as I didn't put the side seam in you literally fold over the edge and stitch down and it's the same on the back as well which I've not seen before which is super clever um, this genuinely if you remember to put the pieces right the right way around you could knock this up in no time and um, I'm not in a rush to make another one because it is raining and I'm not even sure when I'll ever wear this one right now um, so I wish I'd picked up the movies now but um, I really really like this dress um, what a revelation um, so head over to um, I'll say this somewhere else too but um, head over to Little Miss So-and-So where you can buy this pattern from. Um, Nicola actually stocks all of the Season of East patterns and there are four available at the moment. So, and in fact, um, I can't remember if this, this was the All Set to Sew pack, but um, yeah, head over to Little Miss So-and-So, we need to grab this. I'll take care, see you in a minute. Hello everybody, so here's a bit of a bit different backdrop for you. Oh my word, I'm in my favourite place, uh, one of my favourite places in the world. I got up at four o'clock this morning, my amazing husband, who is just over there, yeah, in the background there, uh, drove us all the way down here to this amazing place called Dartmouth. Um, you can see in the background there, it is absolutely stunning here. Let's hope the weather gods are good to us today, because it has been raining no end. Um, but uh, we just love it here. We're just down here for the day, um, and then we're off to stay uh, with my aunt and uncle, which is really lovely, in an equally beautiful place called Budley Salterton. So I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Um, I'm going to give you give you some just to give you a view of the town there. Um, it is just stunning. Uh, yeah, just the loveliest place. Um, 
So we're off down to um, go and see um, some people who run a lovely little cafe just down the road called um, uh, Beth's on the Park. Um, and yeah, I'm in today in my Pilar jacket with um, my new, or newish, Howlison bag and I've got my Megan Nilsson Dawn jeans on which are actually the three quarter length version. So I hope you're having a good day and I'll keep you posted over the next couple of days on what I get up to. Morning everybody. So oh, I had such a nice evening last night. Absolutely amazing. Just dreamy. Um, yeah, really lovely walk. Um, I've, I probably would have put some pictures in and so on by now I reckon. It's just absolutely sensational. And sunshine like you would not believe, which is brilliant. Um, today I'm in Sidmouth, um, so we just had a lovely breakfast with my uncle Pete and um, we made a lovely bacon sandwich and then the Sidmouth today just caught the bus which was a, such an adventure um, and I was going to try and show you just how pretty this little street is and today I'm in, I bought a poncho, did I mention that? I bought a lovely poncho from a sort of little boutique and underneath here I've got me, I can't really see it I don't think, I've got me Esty on with actually my matching bag. <laughs> very coordinated but let me take you on the journey a little bit today I hope I remember to do some filming but we're here today for the Sidmouth Folk Festival um, I'm actually just standing in front of the most beautiful church and things um, so I'll catch you up in a bit footage I'm afraid. Um, I'm up here and that's actually Budley where we're staying. It's such a beautiful place. Oh my word, it's lovely. Um, sorry about the wind but it is just stunning. It's going to rotate you around. It's absolutely amazing. It's really warm today and the weather gods have been pretty good to us. And that's Sidmouth in the future, there in the distance rather. As is my auntie Sue and my husband. So I better go catch up with him. See you in a minute. What's it called? What's it called? I'm, thinking, I'm running some hoops. Is that the expression? Oh, we've just been running some hoops on this amazing lawn. You can see the sea. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not a natural player, but there's hope. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Okay, hi everybody. So just coming to the end of actually our, um, our lovely holiday um, down here in Budley. And I hope you can see that it's very, very bright out there, but that, act that actually is the, the croquet lawns um, here down in Budley in Sul Budley Sulterton, which is just lovely. Um, <laughs> maybe I put some footage in, but I was actually having a go at running a hoop with my Auntie Sue, which is absolutely lovely. So <clears throat> we've had a wonderful time. I'm in Bexhill shorts today, not that you can see those. <laughs> So there seems to be a lot of footage in the last couple of days where you can't actually see what I'm wearing, which as, um, as uh, my sewing channel is about sewing, um, then I'm sorry you haven't seen many of my me maids, but it's more about my life um, as well. So I hope, you've, hope you found that some interesting. Probably got a little bit more footage to add. Um, I hope you can see just how stunning that is out there. Um, but uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed sharing my week with you and I'll probably do a round up at the end. Okay, um, the sun was shining quite a lot through the window there, so this is this is the beautiful view. How lucky am I? Um, it's absolutely stunning out here. So yeah, and look, there's blue sky in what has been um, four seasons in one day, really, over the last few days. We got completely soaked for a few moments yesterday, but generally speaking, we've been really, really lucky with the weather. <laughs> So, 
here I am again. I hope you enjoyed um, my little slice into Cara life because um, I promise you there is life outside of this wonderful sewing room uh, and I'm such a lucky lady. We had the loveliest, uh, lovely, lovely, only four days packed into so much, so much loveliness into just four days. So I'm very, very lucky and a big thank you to my Auntie Sue and, um, and Uncle Pete. Well, I don't think watch these at all, but um, yeah, it just was such a lovely time. And I hope you shared, um, enjoyed sharing some of my um, sewing experiences with my seasons of e-stress and so on. Um, honestly, it happens to us all. So I hope that's given you some confidence that even with someone like myself that sews a lot um <laughs> even i'm making mistakes but learning from them um which i thoroughly enjoy uh so stay tuned for another video from me next week um who knows what my next adventure um will be with you um but i look forward to um catching with it uh, catching up with you all very soon take care everybody bye bye <laughs>